Stop running away from me. I'm stealthy. How do you catch these horses? They're too fast for me, man. Why is it raining so much? I thought I stopped the thing at Zora's Domain to make it stop raining. The whole Divine Beast thing and all that stuff. Oh, shoot. I had a chance to mount him and I missed it. There's a guy riding a horse there. Come back. Are you ever going to stop moving, horse? Good grief, man. Of course I get thrown off. I don't know what I expected. That's not a horse. That's a boar. I'm coming for you, horse. Oh, there's that jerk there. He's gonna ruin everything. It's alright. I'm ready. Headshot! Okay, really? You can just die now, thanks. I'm done. I'm done fighting you, dude. Spiked Moblin Club. So I should probably just get rid of this weapon. There. Take that. This is a good horse. I didn't even have to do anything. You're a good horse. Really good horse. Where was that weapon that I was going to pick up, though? I can't find it. There it is. I can't pick up the weapon while I'm on the horse. Okay. Okay, good horse. Good horse. So we're saying I should go to uh, the place to register the horse or something. I should try that out. The stable's pretty far away, but I can get there if I want, dude. Because I don't know if you can fast travel with a horse or not. So I might as well ride all the way there. Is this where I go to register a horse? Is like right up to the sky or something? I'd like to move a little faster, but this is okay. Gotcha. You sure this is the one? Strength, speed, stamina, and gentle temperament. Maximum bond. So I've got a pretty good horse right now, it seems. We charge a res registration fee. It's only 20 rubies? Dude, that is cheap. Please enter a name for your horse. Oh, shoot. What should I name my horse? Maybe I'll just name him Golden. Since he has a heart of gold. That'll work. I'll go with that. <laughs> ah, ah. Yes. Your registration is complete. Would you like to take your new horse with you? Board horse. What does that do? Oh. We'll see you next time. Ah. Oh, and by the way. If you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it will come running. Oh. But your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. It didn't work. I guess you have to have your horse out of the stable for it to work. So that's cool, I guess. Ooh, what is this? Rumor mill. This is Tracy. I have a taste for the rumors of worlds long gone and worlds yet to come. Everyone gossiping in the present world? Here's my favorite bit of the latest news. Treasures of the Falling Star. The star spread in the sky like a tapestry, and across that expanse, you see one streak of light, a shooting star. And I've heard that there is a treasure waiting where these stars have landed. <clears throat> the next time you see one, why not track it down and see where it lands? Four out of five stars. Okay. Good grief. Well, I don't know if a horse will do me much good when I'm trying to get to that tower, but I registered myself a horse nonetheless. For the first time ever. Which is cool. Oh shoot, I set the grass on fire. Well, this is bad.
Oh, I guess it's fine. Shoot, dude. Bombs are super effective. Love those things. See, the tower is really, it's up really high. Can I swim up those waterfalls with my Zora armor? I should fly over there and find out. Wait, is that a person? Person! Oh. There's another ancient gear. I guess what I actually need is more ancient cores. For those upgrades and stuff. What is this? A level 36 bow? Nice. Are they all dead now? More ancient parts I can get here? Really need an ancient core is what I need. Yiga clan. Are you sure you're not Yiga clan? Oh, okay, you're not actually gonna try to kill me. I kinda expect that when I talk to random people now, is they'll be like, I am part of the Yiga clan and I'm here to take your life, blah, 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 blah. Man, I'm getting ancient screwed. Sneak strike on wolf. These weapons are all susceptible to getting me struck by lightning. I see, that's why they're sparkly. That means I'm okay with the weapon I'm currently carrying. I'm not gonna get struck. Okay, that's good to know. Oh shoot, that one's alive. This is pretty treacherous down here. When will I be out of range? Am I out of range now? Good grief, what a monster. I'm on a quest to reach a tower, and... It seems freaking impossible. Because it keeps raining, and also there's freaking enemies everywhere. And also I'm kind of hungry, so I might just kill this guy and take his meat. Or not. You want to tangle wolves? Don't you howl at me. What, you think you can sneak up on me? That's not how this works, man. 
I'm the one doing the sneaking. Even though I'm not really sneaking at all. Man, wolves are really annoying. It's not, they're not gonna kill you, but they just keep running away. It's playing the battle music for this pathetic wolf. That's hilarious. You do realize you're the prey here, right? I'm the predator. And what the frick frack is that over there? I don't want any of that. They're gigantic for a reason. It basically tells you, this guy's huge, you probably don't want to wake him up when he's sleeping. Can the rain stop now? That'd be great. I really need the rain. Ooh, you know what? While we're waiting for the freaking rain to stop, might as well blow this up. Let's do it again, because it was so much fun the first time. Bang. What? How is this rock still intact? Fine, once more. Oh, nothing valuable, but whatever. Rain, please stop. Who stole my ocarina and played the Song of Storms? I don't know who they are, but I'll find them and I'll kill them. Might as well climb while the going's good. Okay, so the rain is going to be stopped for quite a while. There's like three sunny days forecasted or something. I have no idea if I'm going to make it up there. All right, well, a little bit at a time. Wait, it's raining again? Why is it raining? It shouldn't be raining. Unless the forecast was wrong. Well, this sucks. Stop freaking raining. Dude, I have had enough of this rain. Just this random rain out of nowhere, ruining my day. Someone started to play the Song of Storms, then someone else jumped him and stopped him. That's why it rained for a moment and then stopped, probably. Assuming that's even how the Song of Storms works. I have no stamina upgrades, by the way. I just wanted heart container after heart container after heart container. So every time I had four spirit orbs from doing the shrines, I opted to get a heart container. From the goddess statue or whatever. Wow. Wait, isn't the tower supposed to be up here? Oh, crap. The tower's up there! I have made a grave mistake. If that thing spots me, do I die? I have no idea. I better run before the rain comes back. Remember there was this one shrine I found, and to get to it, I really needed to climb a bit. And it was raining, and I had to just stand there for like 15 literal real-life minutes or something and wait for the frickin' rain to stop. Then I flew into it, and there was no puzzle at all. You just walk up and get the spirit orb. It was the easiest shrine in the game. But whatever, that's just how it goes, I guess. I find if I climb fast, it's not worth it. I lose too much stamina if I press X. Like, I hear something. Like, are there enemies up there just waiting to ambush me? I hear something. And it's not good. I want to sneak up on this guy and take him down quietly if I can. Nice. Instant kill. You know, with all these stamina shrooms I'm carrying, I might as well make some stamina restoring stuff. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. It recovers way more stamina than I even have. Let's cook the apples. Did I just drop them all? Good grief. No, I wanted to cook. No, don't eat them. That's okay, though. I needed that health. Cook the apples, Link. Don't just drop them. Simmered fruit. What else do I have to cook with? Oh, Hylian shrooms. Basically the same as the apples. Let's let's mix some stuff together. Three shrooms and two apples. How about that? So it's the same thing, it's still five hearts. That's cool, I guess. But you can cook these to make them restore even more? Maybe I'll just cook with three. Full recovery and nine bonus hearts? Holy crap! That's freaking amazing, dude. Now I'm curious to know what happens if I cook with just one, so let's cook the last one up. See what that does. You get a full recovery plus three bonus hearts just for one of those. Wow, almost would have been more efficient to cook them one by one. I'll keep that in mind if I find any more hearty radishes. Just cook them one at a time. Each one, is, each one can become a full recovery. 
Raw prime meat. Oh, we could cook with this. I have 16. I have so much raw meat. It's crazy. Let's cook us up a meat something. That's a lot of meat, dude. That's overkill. That's more hard. Like, what's the 10 signify? What's the number 10 mean? Is it like 10 times that? Well, let's just cook with one and see what that does. Because I'm still experimenting with cooking to see, like, what is possible. So that's three hearts. Alright, well... Let's just cook some herbs and see what happens. Ten hearts plus six? That's sixteen hearts, then. Wow. Okay, what is this? Rush room? Temporarily increase your movement speed. So it'll heal you three hearts and allow you to move fast for three minutes. Okay. I've never actually tried movement speed boost, and I don't know what that would be handy for. Like, when do I ever really need to move fast? I either fight or I run away this way. Because, like, what I'll do is I'll, I'll walk around while an enemy is chasing me, and then just as he decides to strike me, I'll... I'll start dashing like that, and he'll miss. So I almost don't really need a speed up, as far as I can tell. Oh, this can boost my stamina but beyond maximum? I only have two of them, though. They seem kind of rare. Move stealthily. Oh, Iron Troom. I have a lot of these, so I should cook up some more defense. Let's do super defense. Okay. High level defense boost. It was a critical success or something. Or I don't even know. It'll last four, four minutes and ten seconds. If I ever find another tough enemy, that could come in handy. I still have a lot of apples and mushrooms to cook up. What's this? Oh, this is just boring regular raw meat? Cool. Let's do it, man. Meat skewer? Wow. Probably another overkill one. What is this? Oh, this, this also raises your defense? Oh. I heard you can cook with the assistance of a fairy. Do I lose the fairy if I do that, though? It could be worth a try. Uh, let's throw a fairy into the mix and see what happens. At this point, I'm willing to try it. Yeah, the fairy doesn't actually cook. So that's basically a full recovery and defense boost. Do I lose the fairy, though? I do lose the fairy in the end. I had three fairies, now I have two. I was hoping that wouldn't be the case. So what happens if I cook up the bird? Maybe a couple of those. Add some rice. I don't know. Meaty rice balls. That sounds delicious. Fish. Armored carp? Oh! <clears throat> Fortify your bones. Increase your defense. Attack power. Oh, mighty carp. That's why it's mighty, because of defense. Er, attack power. Stamina recovery. Cook it with monster parts for that. Well, stamina recovery isn't really a huge deal for me. I either have enough stamina or I don't. Fine, we'll do this. Another movement speed, speed boost thing. Five minutes. High level movement speed boost. I'll just keep that on hand if I ever decide I need to move fast. I'm gonna cook up so many healing items I'll be invincible as long as I keep eating. I think the thing is, like, I collected so many things without, without ever cooking them. Now I just have all this stuff I can cook with, so I can probably cook for hours. Mushroom skewer. Like, how many? How much food do I have now? 
I have more than one page of food stuff. That's cool. I was starting to run low on food, actually. Because I just kept collecting all these ingredients and forgetting to stop every so often and cook them. So if I just cook up one raw prime meat, what do I get? Three hearts. Now for two raw prime meats. What do I get? You get a whole lot more for cooking two of them. So it's kind of inefficient to only cook one at a time, it would seem. Can I combine three iron shrooms with some meat or what? Or just with some normal mushrooms, maybe. What's that do? Nice. Mid-level defense boost. I'm not sure what mid and high level are, but... You know, I might as well cook these up. High level electricity resistance. Nice. 10 minutes, too. I have so many of these, I might as well just make something out of them. Sneaky mushroom skewer. What happens if I just cook five acorns? I'm so curious now. I've never done this. Sauteed nuts. Wow, acorns are a dime a dozen and you can get that much recovery? Five hearts plus a half, is that what that means? Five and a half hearts? Well, hey, let's cook some more acorns. Maybe I'll just combine all these together. Four of them. Meat skewer. 